Welcome back to another video of Great Stack. In this video, we are going to create weather app using React JS. As you can see, here we have our weather app. Here we will write location of any city like New York. And if we search, then it will give real time weather stats of New York City and also provide data of humidity and wind speed. So let's create this project using React.js. Now we will move to our desktop screen. Let's create our React project first. We will create a new folder, naming it weather app. And we will open this folder in VS Code Editor. Now we will open an integrated terminal. We will write npx create react app dot. So it will create our react project in this weather app directory. So we will hit enter. Now our React project has been created. Now we will run it. To do so, we will type npm start. We are not using this cd command because we are in weather app directory itself. So we will direct type npm start and hit enter. Now our React project is running successfully. Now we will clear this default React project. To do so, we have to go in SRC folder in app.js and we have to remove header tag. And we will also remove this imported logo. Now we will save it. Now our default React project is cleared. We will change title of this HTML file. So we have to go in public folder index.html. Here is the title tag. So here we will write weather app and save it. Now our title of this project is also get changed. Now we will create folder structure for this project. So in the src folder, we will create new folder, naming it components. Inside the component folder, we will create asset folder. Inside the component folder, we will create one more folder, which is weather app folder. So here we will write weather app. Inside the weather app, we will create a new file weather app dot jsx and we will convert this jsx file into component using RAFC. Now our component is ready. Now we will create a CSS file for this component. In weather app folder, we will create a new file weather app css now we will import this css file into our component so we will write import and directory of our css file we will save it and our css file is imported successfully now we will mount this component on this screen to do so we have to go in app.js here we will write opening arrow weather app slash closing arrow we will save it now our component is successfully mounted on the screen <coughs> first we will insert all the images in the assets folder and then import all the images in this component. So, 
To do so, we have to right-click Assets folder, Reveal in File Explorer. Here, you can see our asset folder is there, but nothing is inside. So we will copy required icons from this folder to our assets folder. <laughs> SRC Components Assets folder. Here we will paste our icons. Now we have inserted all the images in the assets folder. Now we will import these images in this component. To do so, we will write import. Now we will give a name to this image raw and our directory. So we will write double dot slash assets folder slash search dot png. Like this, we will import all the images from the assets folder. I had imported all the images from the asset folder and name it according to the icon type. Now we will build this component. First we will give this div a class name of container. Inside the container, we will create a div with class name top bar. Inside the top bar, we will create an input tag with class name city input. Now we will add placeholder to this input tag. We will give placeholder search. Now we will create a div with class name search icon. Inside this search icon, we will use image tag. We will use src is equal to search icon. Now we will save it. As you can see, our input field is here with placeholder search and our search icon is here. Now we will give some properties to container class name. We will give width of 607 pixels, height of 829 pixels, margin auto, margin top 75 pixels, border radius of 12 pixels, background image linear gradient, I had provided 180 degree rotation of this gradient with two color codes. Now we will save it. Now our container is ready. Now we will give a style to top bar class name. We will give display flex. Justify content center. Gap of 14 pixels. Padding top 60 pixels. Now our input field and search icon is aligned centered. Now I will give properties to input field. We will give display flex width of 362 pixels, height of 78 pixels, background. Border none and outline none. We will save it. Now our input tag gets bigger and we have changed the background color of the input field. And I had removed the border and outline from this input tag. Now we will add border radius 40 pixel. Padding left 40 pixels. color code. We will save it. Now our input field border gets curved. We will increase font size to 20 pixels and font weight to 400. We will save it. Now our input field text get bigger. Now we will give some properties to this search icon. We will give display flex. Justify content centers. 
align item center so our icon get center of the div we will add width of 78 pixels height of 78 pixels background background code we will save it now we will add border radius to the search icon cursor pointer we will save it now our input field and search button is ready now we are going to back to the jsx file here we will create the remaining part of the component we will create a div with class name weather image inside the weather image we will insert a image tag Inside the image src, we are going to insert cloud icon. We will save it. Here, I am using cloud icon for the temporary use. After this div, we will create a div with class name weather temp. We will hard code this data with 24 degrees Celsius for temporary use. We will create a div with class name weather location. Inside the weather location, we will write London. Now we will create a div with class name data container. Inside the data container, we will create a div with element class name. Inside the element, we will insert image tag with class name icon. We will create a div with class name data. Inside the data div, we will create a div with class name humidity percentage. Here we will write 64%. After this, we will create a div with class name text. Here we will write humidity. Now we will create a copy of element div. Here I had created a copy of element tag and we will change the humidity to wind speed. Here we will change 64 percentage to 18 km per hour. Now I will insert images in this images tag. So here we will insert humidity icon. Here we will insert wind icon. Now we will save it. Now I will give some properties to weather image class name. I will give margin top 29 pixel. Display flex. Justify content center. We will save it. Now we will give properties to weather temperature class name. We will give display flex, justify content center, color white, font size 120 pixels, font to weight 400. Now our temperature text get bigger and get white in color. Now we will give properties to now we will give properties to this weather location. We will give display flex, justify content center, color white, font size 60 pixels, font weight 400. We will save it. Now we will give properties to this data container. We will give margin top 50 pixel, color white, display flex, justify content center. We will save it. As you can see, our changes is reflecting on the screen. Now we will give properties to this element class name. 
we will give margin auto display flex align item flex start gap of 12 pixels we will save it as you can see our changes is reflecting on the screen now we will give properties to this data class name we will give font size 34 pixels font weight 400 we will save it as you can see our changes is reflecting on the screen now we will give properties to this text class name we will give font size 20 pixels font weight 400 we will save it now we will give properties to this icon class name we will give margin top 10 pixels now our design of this weather app is finished now we will add functionalities to this weather app before adding the functionality we have to get an api key from open weather map to fetch the data from the server which we are going to use in our weather app so first we will write here open weather map here we will open this website to get the api key first we have to log in to this site if you don't have an account on this site you can create your account i already have an account so i am going to log in with that account i had successfully logged in now i will go in api key section here is the api key which we need so we will copy this api key from here so we will create a variable let api key is equal then we will paste our key here now we will save it now after getting the api key from open weather map one more thing we will need that is thunder client extension so we will download thunder client extension and install it by using thunder client we can see response data coming from the api now we will back to our jsx file now we will create a search function for our search button we will create a arrow function so this is our arrow function here we will write all the logics to fetch the data from the api and display it to our weather app first we will add this function to the search icon div here we will write on click passing an arrow function here we will write search function now we will save it inside this search function we will write logic to get the value from this input field so we will write const element equals document dot get element by class name here we will write class name of our input field and we can see i had given city input class name to the input tag so we will copy it from here and we will insert it in get element by class name now we will check if the input tag is empty or not to do so we write if element and i had used city input only in this input tag so we will write here element 0 dot value if it is equal to empty string then return 0 if we have nothing in the input field and somebody is searching then it will return 0 means function is not going to execute 
now we will see how to get data from the API. So we will write here open weather map API. So here is the official website. We will open it and we will go current weather data. We will see API documentation. Now when we scroll here is the example of API calls. So how to get the data? To make the API call, we have to use this URL. So we will copy it and we will paste it in the Thunder client. Now we need an API key here. So we will copy our API key from the code and paste it inside the app ID. If I click on send, then it will give me the current weather data of London city. So let's click the send button. In our data, we are getting temperature in Kelvin, but we want Celsius. To request data in Celsius, we will modify our URL. I had added end percentage unit equal to metric and if we send then we will get temperature in Celsius. Now we can use this temperature in our component. Let's copy this URL. Inside this search function we will create a variable let URL equal to we will paste our copied url so here we have the value of input field now we will use this value to get data from this url so here we can see the london is hard coded we need to insert here the data from the input tag so first we are going to use template literals by using template literals, we can insert a variable in any string. To convert this string to template literals, we have to remove this from here. So we will insert a backtick here. And here also we will replace it with backtick. Now we had replaced it with backtick. Now Instead of London, we will use template literals. To insert a variable here, we have to use dollar sign parenthesis. And inside this, we will write the variable name. So we are going to use element zero dot value, which is value of our input field. So we will copy it from here and we will paste it here. Now we will save it. After that, we will replace this hard coded API key with our API key variable dollar sign parenthesis. Inside parenthesis, we will write API key and we will save it. So now our URL is ready. Now I will use fetch API to get the data from the API to our variable. Before using the fetch API, we have to convert our function into a sync function. A sync. Now we will write let response equal await fetch. And inside the fetch, we will pass our URL. We will get this data in our response variable. We will get data from the API and it will store a response variable. Now we have to pass the data into JSON format. To do so, we will create a variable let data equals response which we are getting from the server dot JSON method. If we click on search icon, it will get our input fields data into element 0 dot value. If element 0 dot value equals to empty string, then it will return 0. 
if it is not empty string then our url will be constructed in the url we will get what we type here in this element 0 dot value and we are using our api key to fetch the data using this url we are fetching the data and store it into the response variable after getting data in the response variable we are parsing that data into json using dot json method so here also we will write await so it will wait until our data is converted to json now we will pull out the data which we required from this data variable and we will show that data on our screen to do so we will first we are going to grab the element using class lib so we will write const humidity equal to document dot get element by class name and we will here write humidity percent after that we will write cost wind equals document dot get element by class name here we will write wind rate so here we will change it to wind rate now i am grabbing humidity percent and wind rate to change the inner HTML. So here we will grab two more elements which is cost temperature equal document dot get element by class name. Here we will pass weather temp. We will create one more element cost location equal document dot get element by class name. Here we will write weather location. By using these four elements, we can easily change the data on the weather app. First, we will update humidity. So we will use humidity zeroth element dot inner ht event equals as we can see from our thunder client we need humidity which is inside the main key inside the main we have humidity so we will write here data dot main dot humidity now we will update wind so we will write wind zeroth element dot either html equals to so we have to check where is the wind data in the api so as we can see in our response there is wind key inside the wind key there is a speed which gives me wind speed so we will write here data dot wind dot speed now we will update temperature so we will write temperature zeroth element dot inner html equals to let's check where we get temperature so here in the main key there is temperature key which provide us the correct temperature in celsius so here we will write data dot main dot temperature now we will update location so here we will write location zeroth element 
dot inner html equals to so let's take where we get location so here we can see we directly get name key and location so we will use data dot name now we will save it let's check the functionality now if we click here and write name your and if we search then the temperature is changing our city name also get update humidity also get update wind speed also get update now we have to add in the temperature here we need degree celsius in the humidity we will need percentage and in wind speed we will need kilometer per hour so here in the humidity we will one cat a string which is percentage in the wind speed we will concat a string which is kilometers in temperature we will concat degree celsius now we will save it and we will check again search now we are getting degree celsius in the temperature percentage time in the humidity and kilometer per hour in the wind speed now we have to change this icon dynamically according to the data to update the weather icon first we have to go to thunder client here as you can see we have weather key and it is providing the icon code so what is icon code as you can see open weather map provide us icon code so here are the icons for that icon code if we are getting code 01 day so 01 means clear sky and d means day and n means night so we are getting different types of code if we got 03d means a scattered cloud d means in day n means at night so we are going to display our icons according to the weather icon property as you can see we are getting 04d and we had not used that code till now now we are going to give a structure so we will get the weather icon code and it will display our drizzle icon red icon snow icon and clear icon according to weather icon code it to update our icon so here we will write cost variable name w icon and a function name set w icon equal to use state as you can see in our snippet use state is display when we click here it will automatically include use state from react so here we will initialize w icon with cloud icon so w icon is a variable where we initialize it with cloud icon and set w icon is a function to update the data in w icon so here we will write e power data dot as we can see in weather key there is an array inside the array this object is there to access this object from this array we have to write data weather zero element dot icon by using we will get weather icon code so we will copy it if it is equals zero one day or we will paste again or data weather 
आइकन इक्वल्स जीरो वन टेन सो वी विल स्टेट डब्ल्यू आइकन क्लियर आइकन तो इफ द कोड वी गेट इज जीरो वन डी और जीरो वन एम देन वी विल सेट क्लियर आइकन कोड ऑन दिस ट्रेन नाउ वी विल यूज Icon. We will save it now. Else, if we will copy this statement from here, and we will paste here, and we will change the icon code from zero to D, zero to N. If we get zero to D or zero to N. then we will set w icon cloud icon we will copy this code from here we will paste it again if the icon code is 03d or 03m then we will use drizzle icon we will save it we will paste it again if icon code is 04d or 04n then we will set w icon is digital icon now one time more we paste it and we will change if icon code is 09d and 0910 then we will set w icon red icon again we paste if icon code is 10d or 10 n then we will set w icon red icon we will save it one more time we will paste If icon code is thirteen D or thirteen N, then we will set W icon is no icon. We will save it and we will write here L. For all other cases, we will set W icon clear icon. now we will save it and now let's check whether it is working or not so here we are going to write new york and we will search it as we can see our icon is changing because for new york we are receiving 040 code which we had used digital icon and it is showing digital icon now we will remove the decibel places from the temperature and the wind speed to do so we have to go here we will wrap this in math.flow so i had wrapped these values in math.float which remove the decimal places now we will save it and we will search it again now the decimal is removed from the temperature and the wind speed now our project is ready so we will check other cities also so i am going to check for the switzerland as you can see our project is fully functional now So thanks for watching this video in our next video we will create more projects like this